you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilson. I'm your host, Friggin' Bilson. This is just gonna be a quick little video for you, just because I had a few comments, a few questions, and this and that, and the other thing, what drone I was using. And I have mentioned it in some videos, but I guess some people don't watch the whole video, they just kind of sling through, or so you miss it sometimes. So this this video is gonna be called What Drone Bilson Has, eh? Friggin' right it is. I'm using a Maverick Air. I got this used, that's why I haven't really done any review videos on it. I got it used and I got a really good deal on it. That's what I'm using. Now, if you're on Ontario, just a few heads up here. If you get the Maverick Air or up, you need to have a certification to fly, which I did and it was a pain in the butt, but I got it done, so I have a certification. If you get yourself a Maverick Mini, you don't need that certification because it's under 250 grams. Anything over 250 grams to 25 kilograms, you need a basic license. Anything above 25 kilograms, you need an advanced certification. Just so everybody knows that are in my neck of the woods, that's how it works. So I did not know that when I bought this used that I needed that, but I was like, well, it is what it is, right? So I just did it. But that's about it for that. This is a really good drone. It works great. It has great video, as you can see on my videos, and I love it. It's friggin' decent. Right? What I wanted to show you today is I'm just going to adjust this camera up just a smidge because my neck's getting sore already from looking down at you. There we go. That's better. Oh, frick. So what I wanted to show you today is did some research on these, and these things are really noisy. Like, they're loud. I could show you, but you know how loud it is. You heard it in some of my other videos. I was told to get these master air screw blades and it quiets it down quite a bit. Well, it gives it a different tone. It doesn't really get it quieter. I find it is quieter on a dB meter. Yes, by about three dB. It's a lower pitch. So it sounds more quieter than the actual numbers say. That's what my theory is. I got these, so I'm wanting to try them. They even, look at, they even come with a little baggie. Holy, what's really going on? Oh, it even comes with stickers, peoples. Friggin' right, it does. That's decent. And my computer just crashed while editing that video. You see that? God, that pisses me off. First time in months, boys. Thought I had this figured out, I guess not. You son of a bitch. Anyways, where was I? I'll get that redoing again, so let's see what happens this time. But. I got these propellers from Master Screw and their Stealth Blades, boys. So, like I said, I told you everything I needed to tell you, but there they are. Kind of shiny, a little different angle of dangle. So we'll slap these on and we'll see what's what. We will, and we'll give them a try, and hopefully they do everything they say they do. Which I know they do, because I've done enough research on them that it's proven that they do what they do. It is. Decent. There's one. They are marked where they go. White go with white and black go with black. It's pretty friggin' simple. You don't need me to... If I need to explain how to change a blade on this thing, uh, you shouldn't have one. These are marked white and white, just so you know. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If I can find the hole, Captain. Man, I'll tell you one thing. They're a lot softer. Just remember, if you're planning on flying somewhere that's got lots of close stuff, just change these blades back to the stock ones because there's no sense in breaking the good blades when you have a pile of these blades kicking around. That's just my opinion. But that's all I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to come on here and show you. There's a chart right there. Can you see it? Probably not. But I'll just scroll real slow. There you go. That's awesome. But anyways, there you go. That's the drone I'm running. If anybody wanted to know. And I got some stickers now. And this and that and the other thing. Yeah. Another thing, this is how much I listen to you guys. Somebody commented, this is how much, this is how I proved that I read my comments too. Somebody commented that, hey, get some tire weights for your uh, T-Rex foreskins and your rock crawlers and put them in the rims and that will help weigh it down. That way you don't have to buy, you know, all that expensive brass stuff. So I did. Hey, look it. I got some uh, weights for the old tires and actually didn't cost me a dime. Frig no. So I'll pull those tires off and we'll slap them on there and that will give me some down weight. These are 25s they are, 0.25. FE. Whatever the hell that is. Quite a, they weigh quite a bit than you. So I'll put them in the rims and we'll see what happens. Just be careful then. Don't be ripping her up with them in the rims because you'll rip something out of her. The only problem, that's why they don't suggest weighting down the rims is because you can actually chew the center out of the rim from the weight. And that's why they recommend going with the actual hubs. So I know a lot of you are going to comment, you're going to wreck your rims with these? Yeah, probably. If I get rammy with it, definitely. That's why they say not to weight the rims, unless they're a steel rim, and that way you don't have to worry about chewing out the plastic. But I'm going to try these because it's free. I just want you to know that I listen to you as much as I can. But this is, like I said, just a real short video. Hopefully everybody's staying healthy like I am. And let me know what kind of drone you're flying. Why wouldn't you? But until next time, love y'all. And you know what to do for now.